So I always have issues with my hair feeling super, super frizzy. It always feels dry and brittle, especially if I've been straightening it for a while. It tends to feel super rough and really, really damaged. So no matter how many masks I do or how many treatments I put in my hair to help smooth it out, it always tends to feel like this and I end up only having one good hair day out of the whole entire week. If you guys have this issue with your hair, this tip right here might change your life. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Pamela. If you're new here, today I'll be reviewing the Ion Smooth Solutions at Home Keratin Treatment. So I always used to get this treatment done professionally and I'd always get it done once a year to help tame and revive and protect my hair. It also seals in my hair bonds so I actually have healthier hair afterwards and it really protects my hair from any type of heat damage or anything like that. But the main thing that it helps me with is my uncontrollable frizz and my hair just being super unmanageable and dry so whenever I do my curly hair routine I don't have to use as much products or I don't even have to use any at all it also cuts down my blow dry time when I do blow dry my hair and it also looks super super silky when I straighten it so those are the main things why I like to use it and it's supposed to last you for at least a year if you do get it done professionally but it is a few hundred dollars I want to say mine is about 350 every time I do it and it adds up you guys so that's the why I kind of want to try this at home treatment and I actually never tried an at home keratin treatment before so this is going to be my first impressions review about this product and about just keratin treatments at home in general so if any of you have dry frizzy or damaged hair or if you just have really short hair and you want to grow it out then this video is definitely for you make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below and hit the bell so you don't miss the next upload all of those things really help the growth of my channel so before we get started as i said before i haven't tried a keratin at home treatment before so this will be my first time trying it out and reviewing it for you guys also this video is not sponsored in any way shape or form I just honestly wanted to try it out and see if it works and I might as well have made a video to help you guys out if you guys want to give it a try as well so I did get this at-home keratin treatment starter kit from Sally's it actually retails for about $50 and I will actually be comparing it to the professional treatments that I usually get. And I'll also be showing you guys my hair a few days after the results. And then I'm going to wash my hair and show you guys the results with natural hair. So I feel like that's the best way to get these results and see if this product actually works, is how your hair is after you've washed it. So if you guys are excited to see the full review of this at-home treatment, just keep on watching. So before we get started with the treatment, I just wanted to show you guys what my hair looks like without any products in it. So this is the natural state of my hair. It doesn't have anything in it whatsoever. It doesn't look as bad on camera, but actually in person it's pretty damaged and pretty brittle. So I usually can tell by the ends of my hair how rough they are when I need this treatment and I just don't have as much shine or anything like that when I straighten it. It tends to not curl up in certain spots because it is so damaged. So I just wanted to show you guys the texture of it so I can really compare my final results with you guys. So now for the products, this is the Ion Smooth Solutions Keratin Smoothing Treatment Kit. So this is a starter kit, so you're going to have smaller bottles and it's going to come with everything you need to try this product. You're going to get a clarifying shampoo, the actual protein solution, a dual ended comb, and some gloves. And some of the products that I added into this kit are a plastic bowl and another keratin spray. So the spray is used to upkeep the keratin for a longer period of time so you don't have to keep retouching up your hair with the same process. I actually haven't tried this spray before. It's a rejuvenating keratin repair and shine leave-in treatment. So you just spray this on your hair in between washes. So I just wanted to give this a try to see if this actually works. And I love that it has argan oil in it as well. So now I'm gonna go in with the first product, which is the clarifying shampoo. 
So I love the smell of it. It actually smells really good and clean. So good one there. So starting off with the clarifying shampoo, you really want to work all of the product in the hair strands. So you do want to start in the scalp and work your way down. But the main object of this is to really cleanse every strand of hair. So you want to cleanse it of any oils or anything that can prevent the protein from working. And because of this, you have to wash your hair about five times. So you're going to shampoo your hair, leave it on for a few minutes, and then you're going to rinse it out and repeat that about five more times to complete the process. After we put the keratin in, we're gonna have to blow dry it anyways. So I definitely just waited until half of it was dry, at least 75% dry. I shampooed my hair about five times and it actually, I thought it was gonna feel super dry, but it actually feels really, really soft. Yeah, don't be afraid to wash your hair the maximum amount of times. It honestly feels so good. It feels really hydrated and it just feels so soft. So I just wanna update you guys on what I was doing before I film the next scene. But yeah, see you guys. So the next step is the actual keratin treatment. So this is the solution of keratin protein this is what's gonna be sealed onto your hair. The bottle is pretty small, but you're not supposed to use that much because it is very potent. So we're just gonna put it in this bowl right here and then brush it on her hair. We have to start from the bottom and then work our way up. So I'm just going to tie my hair up really quick. If this works, it's literally going to change my life because I've always gotten professional keratin treatments and they're way overpriced. They're a few hundred dollars and if this works and it's only 50 bucks like I will never have to get those treatments done professionally ever again I'm hoping this is very very effective I think it helps that I've had a keratin treatment before so I can kind of compare the results as far as like how close it is to the real thing um, so my hair is pretty much dry it's almost a hundred percent dry so I'm not gonna blow dry it or anything um, you do want to paint this onto your hair when it's completely dry so I let my hair air dry for a few hours just because I didn't want to add too much heat or anything like that and plus I have to blow dry it anyways after this I'm just gonna squeeze it out I'm just gonna work a little bit at a time so I think that's good for now we're basically just going to paint it on our hair in very, very small sections. I have my little parting comb. This is the brush that comes with it, and I'm just going to use this side of it. I like that it comes with a comb, but I feel like it's so awkward to use. And you just kind of want to just brush it on there. Okay, why did I do it so awkward? So one thing I noticed right away is that this brush on here actually grabbed your hair really well. So you can actually feel all the product getting distributed through your hair. You don't want to put too much where your hair is dripping. You just want just enough because then it won't be as effective for the final result. But I'm probably going to speed this up for you guys so I don't take forever. <laughs> Another tip for you guys, if you guys want to know if you're putting on too much product, you just want to take one of these combs with really, really small gaps and just run it through your hair and you'll kind of see the product build up on the comb and that's how you know you have a little bit too much. But this is a good way to also get it off of your hair as well. But you also don't want your hair to be super dry either, so make sure it kind of looks wet and stiff and then do that because if your hair is obviously like dry of course it's not going to have like product on it but you want it saturated enough and distribute it through your hair so having one of these combs honestly is really really useful So 
I'm done with the bottom half, I feel like the product runs through your hair really easily, but it also isn't too watered down, so it actually sticks onto your hair especially when you use the brush with it so I really like that another thing is I noticed that this doesn't smell as strong as the ones in the salon so I noticed it doesn't smell too strong the one in the salon smells like straight chemicals and I believe this one doesn't have that many chemicals in it so it is a healthier option if you guys are interested in that but it really does soak into the hair really well and I'm just going to repeat the steps all over my hair <laughs> Alright guys, so it's been about an hour since I applied the product in my hair and the sun had went down so the lighting in here is a little bit different. I just had a little dilemma, I actually ran out of product halfway through so I only had like this much left and I had like zero product left so I was trying to scrape what I had and try to disperse it through here. I already knew that my, my hair was going to take a few bottles of this but I only wanted to get the starter kit because I didn't know if this was actually going to work on my hair or not so I didn't want to buy the individual huge bottle that they had at the store. I'm just going to work with what I have right now and see how it turns out but that is also why I had got this spray. So this spray is pretty much to upkeep all your keratin and it helps make Make your keratin last longer so what I did is I actually drenched that dry patch of hair with this and hopefully it kind of gives the same result we'll see my hair just feels like it has a lot of product in it it's not like hard or anything like that so I am gonna blow dry it straight right now and then I'll show you guys the straightening process So I went ahead and straightened half of my hair and I'll show you guys how to do this process on the other half. So far, so good. It really feels super shiny. It feels super, super smooth. So basically what you want to do is you want to have a straightener that goes up to 450. That's like the main thing that you need to seal it in. So I have a Remington here I got from Ulta. It's a ceramic hair straightener I feel like it just works really well as far as smoothing everything out really really good so you also want to use a comb again because you want to basically drag the comb along your hair while you're straightening it so you make sure you get every single strand probably less than half an inch of a section and then I will smooth out with the comb and then I'll start it at the roots and I'll do it a few times just lightly and then I'll drag it very, very slow down the section. So this ensures it gets every single hair and it starts to seal everything in. And then I take the comb and start back at the top. Because it is going to be very, very hot. I mean, you're, you're using um, 450 degrees, so it is really, really hot. So it says if your hair is processed, just only do it three to five times. If your hair is virgin hair, you're gonna do it five to seven times. So I'm gonna do five times because I want the maximum results, but I also have color treated hair. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this. And you just wanna go straight down, but also very, very slow. So it gets every single hair. So I did it twice so far. I'm gonna go over it three more times. So I only use the comb for the first few times and then I just use the straightener on its own. I really like to press the straightener on the other side to make sure it really, really presses down on the hair. 
And then when you start to feel your hair get super squeaky, that means it's sealed and you'll see how shiny it gets and how much smoother it is. So I'm just gonna finish this process all the way around the hair and I'll update you guys with the final product. So I'm just showing you guys the difference of what I'm talking about. Like look how frizzy this is and look how sleek and nice this side is. Such a big difference, you guys. It's like a product you didn't know you needed until you tried it. <laughs> Guys, this is the final result. I am so impressed. I feel like it's a little bit better than getting it done professionally, I have to be honest. My hair is bone straight right now and basically you just wanna leave it like this. You don't wanna put any creases in it for at least 48 hours. I also want to make sure I get you guys a really good review because I notice on some reviews they just do the application process and that's about it. So I'm actually going to update you guys in about a week or so and show you guys how my hair is holding up. I'm also going to wash it and let it air dry and see how my natural hair is um, and compare it to how it was before the treatment. So I just feel like that's more beneficial. You don't really know if a keratin treatment is actually working until you wash your hair and let it air dry. Then you can kind of see like how manageable it is and if it really made a difference or not. But so far so good. My hair is super, super silky. I don't know if you guys can see how shiny it is, but it's literally so healthy now. The ends look like I just got a trim then that's what you want because um, it basically smooths out oh my god my hair looks longer as well so it basically smooths out your bonds so that's what you want to look for when you try this out but my hair is so so good right now you guys it's so smooth so this is gonna kind of straight out your curls just a tad bit but you still have curly hair of course um so I just like to do this when I straighten my hair more than I wear my curly hairstyles and the fact that I use this on the top portion of my hair I feel like it does the exact same thing as the keratin treatment so this also is a form of keratin but it's more to upkeep your hair like in between washes and stuff like that but since I used it because I ran out of product I feel like it works exact same like it doesn't feel any different at all it actually feels super super soft just like the rest of my hair and the way that it's straightened it straightened just like the rest of the hair so I'm not worried about the top part looking more different than the rest of my hair I just can't wait to see how it's gonna look in a few more days just to let it settle in and stuff like that so I'll update you guys tomorrow in natural lighting so you guys can see up close and personal what my hair is looking like so it's actually been about a couple weeks since I did this treatment on my hair and I definitely feel like it's way better than the professional treatment. I think because I had more control over my results, like I was able to add as much product as I could. I really took my time with it and straightened every piece and I just feel like overall like I got the results that I actually wanted because in a salon you're kind of rushed and they may want you to come back so they might not do it as good. So I definitely loved how my hair turned out and I wanted to wait a little while since filming this video just to kind of develop my own opinions about this whole experience and I honestly have nothing bad to say about it. The only downfall I would say is I wish this brand actually had bigger size bottles for thick hair because if I didn't know about keratin treatments and I wanted to give it a try and say if I ran out of products, I wouldn't have known to get that spray. 
So the fact that I got that spray kind of saved my whole experience with this. So definitely keep that in mind if you guys try this out. Otherwise, it's honestly way better than getting it done professionally because you are only doing it for 50 bucks and you have control over your results and you can touch up at any time you want without paying 300 to 400 dollars but i've washed my hair quite a few times between this video and now and every time my hair air dries it literally looks the same so it looks really tamed it looks healthier shinier and overall just really hydrated and i don't feel like i have to do my hair every time i get out the shower whereas before my hair would be very very frizzy so i would have to tame it in some way i always had to put it up or put it in braids i would either have to straighten it right away or put a whole bunch of products for my curly hair routine so with using this keratin treatment i don't have to do any of that i can literally just leave while getting out the shower and my hair won't look as crazy and it's also more manageable for when i do do my curly hair routines i don't have to use a whole bunch of products i just feel like overall my hair is just healthier it feels way longer than before and i just think because when you seal in those bonds and you keep them from getting damaged even further especially when you straighten your hair those bonds can break very easily so this protein treatment actually creates a seal over all of that for you to be able to protect your hair while doing heat, heated hairstyles or any other hairstyles that might cause damage. That's another reason why I genuinely love it and I feel like this is a product that we don't really know we needed until we try it. So that's why I'm here to try it out for you guys and put you guys on to a whole new hair hack that you probably may have not have known before. So I will show you guys a before and after next to each other so you guys can see the comparison and see how much of a difference my hair looks on camera. Um, just to let you guys know, even though my hair doesn't look as soft in the last results, it really is naturally. So don't worry about the actual texture looking the same the actual feel in person is very very different than what i started with but overall i really love this product i would definitely be using it again so if you guys give this a try make sure you let me know in the comments about your whole experience and what kind of hair you have because i definitely want to know if this works for you and if you love it or if you're going to keep using it. The main thing I love doing keratin treatments for is going on vacation. So that's when I really love to do these treatments just to, you know, make it an effortless look without really having to worry about getting all put together so but yeah this is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you give this video a thumbs up so the algorithm knows that you love my videos and subscribe down below so you don't miss my next one and i'll see you guys soon bye